Hey everyone. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Today in this very exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create logo reveal animation in After Effects. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super awesome. Before we begin make sure to download the expression file which I will be using in this tutorial, link is in the description. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this, and without any further ado let's begin. Create a new composition. Width is 1920 and height is 1080. 25 frames per second. 5 second time. Click OK. Now right click, and create a new solid. Choose color similar to light red, or, orange. Click OK. I will name this as BG, which means background. You can see a lock icon here. Click on this empty box on our solid right down the lock icon, click it. It will lock the layer, so we don't have to worry about moving the background accidentally. Click this shape icon and hold it, it will bring few options. Select the ellipse shape. By holding shift drag it like this to create a circle. Change the color to white. Make sure the anchor point is in the center. I will name this layer as circle. Press S on your keyboard to bring the scale and decrease the size of the circle like this. Now press P on your keyboard it will bring the position. Drag the circle to the top like this. Now place the time indicator at 10th frame and keyframe the position by clicking this timer icon here. Now take the indicator to 1 second 15th frame and drag the circle to the center like this. It will automatically create keyframe. Now highlight both the keyframes and right click on it. Go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease or you can simply press F9 on your keyboard. It will smoothen our animation. Go to graph editor, by pressing this graph icon like this. Now drag the right anchor to the left like this. And left anchor to right like this. If your graph don't look like this, in the menu, make sure that edit speed graph is selected. Go to timeline and play it. That looks super good. Take the time indicator to 20th frame and press S on your keyboard to bring the scale. Keyframe it and place the indicator little to the right like this. Increase the scale size to 120%. Again place the indicator little to the right and change the size to 100%. Now highlight all the keyframes and right click on it, and select easy ease. That looks really good. Now create new composition, I will name it as arrow, click ok. Take the pen tool here, and make a triangle like this. Place it over here. Take the rectangle shape tool and make a shape like this. Now we created our arrow. 
go back to the main comp and drag the arrow composition to our main composition like this. Right click on the arrow layer and go to layer style then select drop shadow. Press S to bring the scale and decrease its size like this. Now go to drop shadow and decrease the spread and size to zero. Press R to bring the rotation tool and rotate it like this. Press P to bring position and drag it down like this. Take the time indicator over here. And select all the layers and press U. It will reveal all the keyframes on the layers. Place the time indicator where the end of the position keyframe. Select the arrow layer and press P. Keyframe the position and place the time indicator here and drag the arrow on top of the circle. Again press R, and rotate it to fit the arrow, where it came from, like this. Press S to bring the scale. Place the time indicator here. And keyframe the scale. Place the indicator little over here, and decrease the scale size to 9. Again place it here, and change the size back to 11%. This will create that clicking animation. Now highlight all the keyframes and select easy ease. Do the same to position keyframe. Let's play it. Our arrow animation is too fast and not matching the time. Drag the position and size keyframes like this. Adjust the keyframe till it look natural. Now that looks perfect. Place the time indicator here, and keyframe the position. Then place it over here. And drag the arrow down like this. Let's play it. It looks too fast. Drag the last keyframe little to the right like this. That looks really good. Now we will drag our logo to the project panel like this. Place the logo above all the layer. Drag the logo layer to 2 second. And decrease its size to 0%. Then keyframe it. Place the time indicator here. And change the size to 60%.
Again place little to the right, and change it to 50%. Now highlight all the keyframes and easy ease. Let's play it, and see how it looks. That looks good. You can adjust the logo layer to see if it looks better to the animation. That looks perfect. Drag the last size keyframe of our circle layer to the right like this. It will give a little dynamic effect to it. That looks super good. Press this toggle icon to change option. We will add motion blur to all three layers. That looks great. We shall start creating our text and animate it. Again create a new composition. I will name it as text. Click OK. Take the text tool and type in the name you want. I will type in our channel name Gentle PSD. Place it in the center. Change the color to white. Now click this arrow icon and press the animation icon. And select position. In the animator click on this add icon. And go to selector and select expression. Now open the downloaded file. Link is in the description. Extract it. Open the notepad and copy this expression like this. Alt click on the amount timer icon and paste the expression by pressing Ctrl V. Now our expression been pasted to the expression selector. If I play it. As you see nothing happens. And this is where the magic going to happen. In the position drag our text down like this. If I play it. That looks amazing isn't it? We now created and animated our text. There is one final step to do. As you see our text just kind of visible at all the time. To hide it, take the rectangle shape tool and make a shape like this. Change the color if you want. Press the toggle icon and change the matte of our text layer to alpha. If I play it, As you see now text will only visible on our rectangle shape, making it more dynamic. Now go to main comp and drag the text composition to our main composition like this. Decrease its size and place it below like this.
drag the text layer to where our logo finished popping up. If I play it, that looks super awesome. We finally finished creating our logo reveal animation. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Please hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. And also it will help this channel to reach more people. Hit the like button if you like this tutorial. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.